Hi guys, this is Paul Duffy from Advanced Electronics. Uh, one of the most common or frequently asked questions is earth faults. Um, every fire system in the world more or less comes across issues, problematic sites, um, most commonly related to, to earth faults. Um, this is a quick how to identify the earth faults and quickly rectify and remedy using the control panel as a tool. Right guys, we all like to see a control panel displaying normal panel operation. This is ideal. However, in the unlikely event you do have a, an earth fault on the system, then obviously that display will change. So we can see normal panel operation, your earth faults occurred. Panel's at level two menu, so obviously it will, will buzz in a fault condition, but you can read the display. So we can press the, the mute button. We're not affecting the operation of the system. We're just silencing the, the buzzer. You'll notice the moment I press the, the mute button, um, that menu changed. It says for service, call your telephone number 0345-8000-7654. If you scroll to the, the right hand side, one zone in fault, zone 200, zone 200 being the location of your control panel. And in this case, the relevant text has been put in, it's the panel in reception. Scroll to the right hand side for further information. Scroll to the right. We can see the device text, earth faults, the state is an earth fault. Voltage is the measurement type, and we can see our voltage measurement is 16.8 volts. Okay, so what do we what do we do? We know we've got a, an earth fault on the system. Press your menu button, select the view option, and scroll and find your panel menu. So next menu and select the panel. If we look at our local hardware, the panel is built with its own multimeter. We can see our sounder circuits, normal operation, scroll down, battery circuit, charging voltage, temperature, and we can see we've got an earth fault. Earth volts is 16.8 volts. This is a, a positive conduct at the ground. Uh, we're seeing it's a positive conduct at the ground because if we clear that earth fault, it's going to clear the earth fault from the system. All faults are not latching. You can see the, the normal reading is 2.5 volts. So if that earth voltage goes greater than 3.5 or say 4 volts, that's a positive conduct at the ground. If this voltage drops less than 1.5 volts, then it's a negative conduct at the ground. So you can see by simulating a, a fault condition, I'm going to cause a positive earth fault. So generating an earth fault, you can see that voltage is rising. That will now go into fault condition. So we can see we've we've got a, a fault on the system. Scroll to the right hand side, panel in reception, more information, earth volts, 16.8 volts, too high, loop zero, address five. Address five is your panel multimeter, what we've just shown you there on the on the panel multimeter itself. How do we find it? So what we do, we know we've got, um, it was 16 and a half volts, it's a positive conductor at the ground, press the menu button, and what we'll do is we'll put this panel into commissioning menu. So we go to tools, commission, put in our password, 7654. Use the same menu structure, this view menu is in level one, and level two, and level three. So if you go to view menu, Next menu, panel, local hardware, we're going to scroll down to the earth fault. So we've got an earth fault on the system, we've identified it's high, greater than 2.5 volts, so it's a positive conductor at the ground. So where do our earth faults come from? So 9 times out of 10, it's most common from your field wiring. When we look at the, the control panel, so if we open it up, we use this as a tool. So what we do is we remove the field wiring one at a time till we establish which circuits actually the, the earth fault has been induced on. So if we open up the, the control panel, we what we do is we remove the field wiring. So in this case, I'm going to plug in three. That was the last circuit I was working on. That's not changed. Okay, so plug circuit back three. I know I've got no problem there. If I unplug loop one, you can see straight away the fault's not latching. The fault is clear. So if I put loop one back in place, You can see my earth fault is creeping up again, and it's gone into a fault. So I've identified now, loop one is my main culprit. So it's rule of elimination. All the green terminal blocks that we have on the control panel, 
we can unplug and plug one of the systems live, no problem at all. But identify that it's on loop one. The next option is then put the panel into commissioning menu. We know it's on loop one. We go to the loops. Loop one, identify your devices, making sure you've got the, the relevant information. One of the key points now is basic fault finding techniques. So one of the important rules to remember, um, put the panel into commissioning. Okay, so we put the panel into commissioning. Remember, the panel only drives in one direction. That's from the, the V out. If you're unsure of where the V out is, look at the terminal box on the, on the PCB it is identified. Because it's only driving in one direction, if we make a strategic break in the loop, and that earth fault clears, then you know it's downstream of that break. Basic fault finding techniques applied. I hope this tips help you. Um, watch your space for, for more information.